Okay, everybody, this is CPC bus scenario for Sean. This is a walkthrough of Kahoot test one. So what is the recommended walk around time? 10 to 15 minutes, 60 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, 80 minutes. The recommended time is 10 to 15 minutes. There is no legal time. You must do it. That's a legal obligation, but there's no set times how long it should take. RSA recommend between 10 and 15 minutes. Okay, question two. What does the walk around involve? Inside and outside, the outside only, timing chain or inside only. Hopefully you all know it's the inside and outside. There's internal checks and external checks. What is involved in a walk around? Wipers, indicators, all of the above, or mirrors? Wipers, definitely. Indicators, definitely. Mirrors, definitely. So it's all of the above. What is the speed on a motorway for a standing passenger bus? Okay, if you're standing passengers, it's 65 kilometers an hour. That is the maximum speed, whether it's on the motorway, a national road, or any road. So 65 kilometers an hour. What is the speed for standing passengers on a national road on a bus? Again, 65. What is the speed for a seated passenger a uh, bus on a national road. So a bus on a national road is 80 kilometers an hour. It's 100 for a dual carriageway and it's 100 for a motorway. For a national road, it's 80 kilometers an hour. What's the speed of a seated passenger bus on the motorway? As I just mentioned, it's 100 kilometers an hour. And it's 100 kilometers an hour for a dual carriageway built to motorway standards. I contacted the RSA and they asked what uh, dual carriageways are built to motorway standards and they told me all dual carriageways are built to motorway standards. So there you go. What stage would you check the tyres? What stage would you check the tyres? Before you move off on your walk around check when you feel the steering wheel shake while you are driving. You certainly wouldn't do it while you're driving. If the steering's shaking, it's a bit late. Yes, you would do it before you move off, but specifically you would do it on your walk around check. What document is Sean required to carry while driving? Well, there's a few of them, isn't there? You know, it's the license, CPC card, tachograph card, and ADR card if you're carrying dangerous goods. So dog license, nope, we can dismiss that. TV license, we can dismiss that. Racing license, we can dismiss that. So it must be driving license. Remember, you can have lots and lots of time on this the CPC test. And if you don't know what it is, you can eliminate what it isn't. Even if you can only eliminate two of them, then you're left with two possible answers. So now it's 50-50. What does this sign mean? No entry, passenger clear way, one way or no parking. If it was one way, it would have an arrow. Passenger clear way, I'm not sure what that means, passenger clear way. If it's a pedestrian clear way, it would have, uh, it would just be red around the outside and empty on the inside, just be a white sign. And no parking would have a car with a line through it or a P with a line through it. So if we can eliminate what it isn't, we're only left with no entry. Which of these is not checked in a walk around? Not checked in a walk around. Always read the questions carefully, guys. You've got loads of time. Wipers, timing belt, indicator, headlights. You know you check the wipers and the indicators and the lights. So it must be this one, timing belt. The timing belt is inside the engine. We don't go that far when we're doing our walk around, do we? What is the meaning of full beam?
Well, it's certainly not low beam. And a tractor beam, maybe if a tractor turns on its headlights, but otherwise that's the thing you get on spaceships. So I say it's not low beam, it's not a tractor beam, that only leaves these two. So there's a full beam, a high beam, or fog lights. Fog lights are fog lights. So if we eliminate these three, we're only left with high beam. What should a driver do while or if blinded by oncoming lights? Look to the verge and stop if necessary. Put on your high beams, keep driving, speed up. If you're being blinded, you're not gonna keep driving, you're certainly not gonna speed up. Put on your high beams is a very common thing. I see drivers do it all the time, but now you're both blinded. So the correct answer is look to the verge, slow down and stop if necessary. What does this sign mean? Is it a contraflow bus lane? Is it a stop with flow or end of motorway? But it's certainly not the end of motorway. It's not a stop sign, so it's a contraflow or with flow. It's on the left hand side and there's taxis and bikes now. So it must be a wood flow bus lane because you can't have anything other than buses in a contraflow bus lane. What training do you need to load luggage on a bus? What training do you need to lift things, push things, pull things or carry things? I hope you all know it's manual handling. What does this sign mean? As you can see it's 50, so it's 50 kilometers an hour maximum speed limit. Not recommended, maximum. When do you use your fog lights? In the car park, bit of a silly answer. When it's sunny, no, so we can eliminate these two. In the snow or in the rain? In the snow.